Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 25 chat. Oh, hi. It's episode 37. It is. And it was kind of a throwaway in some ways. In some ways, yeah, because I mean, it was a lot of behind the scenes. It was a mind the gap. Yeah. You need to fill in the gaps. A bottleneck episode, if yeah. you will. We got to see a lot of the crap that we didn't really need to see from the double eviction. Yeah. But we did see some other stuff, too, which kind of, we'll talk about it, which yeah. I think was worthwhile, for sure. So last time was double eviction, baby. Disappointing double, I have to say. Again. As always. Yeah. Blue and America were both evicted. <laughs> <laughs> but we did get to see a little bit of the blue finding out yeah blue finding out that she's gonna be the one to go so as we suspected felicia was the one who broke the news to blue it was 43 minutes before the live show do you feel like jack uh jag kind of um was a little lame about yes. this whole situation <laughs> yes i well, was avoiding saying the p word because you know which one? Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, before it even got to Jag, right? Felicia and Blue were in the bathroom, and I feel like Felicia's way of telling Blue that she was going was just. <laughs> she didn't really tell her anything. She's just like. And she's like. <laughs> yeah. Blue was like. No, what? Blue was like, this week? Yeah. Uh, this week she let her know you're going and of course felicia's saying in the diary room this isn't for jury purposes this is just because i didn't want blue to be blindsided it's oh, like <laughs> sure the my little pony who got put in the microwave not because of what she said just to dry her hair <laughs> <laughs> yes okay thank you so then blue goes to talk to jag mm-hmm and this is 30 minutes before the live show, and she was all like, um, when did you decide that it was going to be me? Is this, like, a carryover from last week? It's gonna be Yeah. Jag was doing his usual Jag stuff, which is say as little as possible. Say as little as possible. Deflect. Uh, say, you know, Everybody well, wanted this, so wasn't yeah. just me. Everyone failed the test, Mom. <laughs> Exactly. Mm -hmm. We didn't have enough time to prepare. You wouldn't take me to the final two, whatever. So I think she would have. Mm, no. Oh. <laughs> she had talked to the camera multiple times and said, look, I would, per on a personal level, I would love to go to the final three with Matt and Jag. Mm -hmm. But she knew for her game that she could not do that. So she was definitely targeting Matt and Jag moving forward. And she even told both of them that mm. when they had their little three-way hug nonsense yeah lammy's here <laughs> oh is that what that is yes um but yeah she she was telling them like don't feel bad about it but like she will be taking this to the jury and she said i hope you you know either one or both of you follow me out oh oh they said okay <laughs> but she was also saying i love you guys yeah all right well this next bit that we saw was like oh okay so seven minutes seven minutes Seven minutes like before seven the show. Minute abs. Yeah. <laughs> While we were doing our ab exercises yeah. before the live show. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me just popped up. With... <laughs> seven minute abs? What? Yes. Seven minutes before the show. She meets with Sari. Yes. And this was really interesting. Blue let Sari know that she knows the big secret. She knows that Sari is Jared's mommy. But did she tell Sari? That Jared told her. No. Okay, so this is where it's like, really? She wasn't totally honest because she was like, oh, I figured it out. Now, it's not like she just randomly put the pieces together. Mm -hmm. Jared was like, my mom's in the house. And then yeah. he didn't ever say, to my knowledge, like, right. it's Sari. Right. But he gave enough clues for her to figure it out. So she was like, yeah, I figured it out. But, like, Sari is going to know the truth after this, so why lie? Yeah. Right? I mean, yes... Again, technically, he did not say, Sari is my mom, but he basically told her. So, yeah. Sari was very thankful that Blue did not spill the secret before leaving. And um, Blue was really emotional during this and saying, like, mm -hmm. it was an honor to play with you. You're damn right it was. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a nice moment. I wish we could have seen more of that Blue 
in the house uh, instead of kitty kitty purr boots down why didn't we hear sorry i effed your son all over this house when you were in it yeah <laughs> jared's gonna have to answer to that but anyway <laughs> all right well back to the back to, double eviction right. baby. so after uh blue goes bye-bye bowie wins the hoh right we know we know she's Putting up Felicia in America. She told both of them, your pawns, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then Matt wins the veto. And America is... Oh, they just kissed. Oh. <laughs> America Bobby. is in beg mode. Yeah. She begs him not to... Uh, she begs him to use the veto on She's her. She's like, I can't do this again, please. Like, I don't want to be on the block. Mm-hmm. She's saying, I will put up whoever you and Jag want. I'll do everything uh, that you want. I'll, I will never, ever, ever go after you two. <laughs> I mean, um, say what you got to say, right? She's doing the damn thing. So then uh, Matt and Jag were like, oh, we got to talk to each other. Yeah. Well, okay, Matt doesn't use the veto. Mm-hmm. And then we see more of America begging, please don't vote me out. Like, what's right. going on here? Because they're supposed to be super tight, whatever. But this is what Matt and Jag do. They have deals with everybody. And then it's time to say bye-bye. It kills me that they could have had an all-women finale. But who blew it? Who blew it? <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't just that. Because Jag has been on quite the competition run. And he has not been but vulnerable. But they did have an opportunity. This was the opportunity, right? He did not have the veto. This was the chance to do it. Uh, if Bowie had put Matt and Jag up on the block together... It could have happened, right? Mm-hmm. But um, she wants third place, so. But I mean, there was even before this opportunities. Yeah, but like a while ago. Yeah, it's been a while since they've had this chance, and they blew it. But yeah, um, America was voted out three to zero. And now Sari has decided. Oh, um, my butt is a little hot. Somebody lit a fire under it because now I want to win H O H. Yeah, I mean, she wanted Jag to leave during this double. Obviously, that did not happen. So she's like, "This is this needs to happen now, right?" Because we're running out of time. This is like, Mom, uh, I have a. Uh a project due tomorrow, and, and I haven't started it yet. And it's Sunday night. It's and I need o'clock. a poster board. Yeah. <laughs> and Walgreens closes at ten. She had to drag her ass out to CVS to get this freaking poster no, board. No, not CVS. Walmart. Oh yeah. Twenty four hour Walmart. Gotta check the hours. But yeah. yeah, she's got a lot of work to do here. So she really wants to win this H O H. Which, by the way, that has happened to me. Not with you. No. With your sister. I'm not surprised. <laughs> That's right. All right. So, going into this next competition. <laughs> okay. Actually, Frank rewind it a little more. Yeah, rewind yeah. it a little more. Because they didn't really show this on the show until tonight. Right. The whole, like, Matt saying right. he wants to take a shot at Jag. Sari telling this to Felicia, Felicia spilling to Jag. Mm-hmm. So now we are seeing Jag confront Matt. We are seeing about this. one day pre eviction. Right. So Jag is like, I've been hearing that oh, what? Uh, you want to take a shot at me? Really? And Matt, I mean, the face should have been the tell, right? He's like smiling because he got caught. Yeah. He's guilty. He's like, no, I never said that. What? Oh my God. <laughs> so who I gotta said, say. said that? Yeah. <laughs> To me, there was a lot of smirking throughout this whole entire episode from both Matt and Jag, and mm-hmm. it was just like, yeah, <laughs> it just left a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. But um, yeah, Matt is like, no, I never said that. Blah blah blah. Felicia or Sari, somebody's making it up. So then Matt goes back and talks to Sari, and Sari is like, the toothless fairy strikes again. Meeting Felicia. Yeah. Right? Because she's finding out, oh, crap, Felicia told on me. Mm-hmm. She told. She told Jag. So, Sari, quick thinking on her feet. She remembers this conversation that she had with Felicia weeks ago mm-hmm. where Felicia was saying, hey, I think Matt's going to take a shot at Jag. Right. So, Sari, hand on the Bible. Oh. Is like, Felicia's the one who told me this. Like, a month ago. Did it burn? I mean, technically she wasn't lying, because that did happen. She was lying, however, when she said, I never told 
Felicia, mm-hmm. what you said to me, because she definitely right. did, right? But she was able to pull this other conversation, and Matt was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. Matt believes that Sari did not tell on him, and in turn, Jag also believes that Matt did not say those things but about targeting him. But does he 100 him. believe? I think he does. Or is he 85 I believe? think he 100 believes. Oh, no. <laughs> I think they both 100 believe. The Lulu. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now Matt, a hundred believes, doesn't think he needs to take Jag out anymore because he trusts him so much. So this is a bad read because <laughs> Jag and Bowie have been talking now about going to the final two together mm-hmm. and not picking Matt. So. Oh. Matt should maybe think about this a little bit more. But He's anyway, yes, it is time for the HOH competition. The superhero smackdown. Yes. And three of, there's four people in the competition. Okay, I think that this was a very poor design. Yeah. I like the look of it. I thought mm-hmm. the set was amazing. All of that, yes. I would have loved to see this competition maybe a little earlier in the season. Yeah. But to get to the final five and have a competition where people can, like, work together and gang up mm-hmm. on, like, a house target is just disappointing. Yeah. Um, It doesn't feel good at this point in the game. But basically, there was, like, superhero placards for each house It was guest. like when you go to the carny. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to, you get three balls and you have to knock down like a certain amount right. of things. It was kind of like a mix of ski ball and that. Right. Because you're rolling the balls and you're trying to hit other people's superhero and placard things. And also pool because you have to call, you have to call your, your shot. shot. Yes. Oh. So you're going to be like, I want to hit Jag. And if you miss... Or you hit somebody else, that does not count. Right. So you have to call the shot and make the shot. Right. So each person had three superhero placards. Mm-hmm. So once all three of yours are gone, you're out. You're, you're not out. making any more shots. You're you dead. can't win. Mm-hmm. You're <laughs> dead to them. Yeah. Felicia was out first. Yeah, it was not a good feeling for her because a bunch of people were ganging up on her. Yeah. Sari was really good at this competition. She was making a lot of shots, and she was targeting Jag first. But then, for some reason, Jag has two down. He only has mm-hmm. one left. And Sari decides, I'm going to start going for Felicia, and I'm going to leave Jag in this for a little while. Oh, my God. That, yeah. to me, was a big mistake. Yeah. Seal the deal, take Jag out, and then you and Felicia can both go after Matt together. Right. So I think that that was a big mistake, but Sari was like, I don't trust anybody, so I'm just aiming for everybody. She, but She bonered. I think that was a, a tactical error for she sure. She bonered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so then it came down to Matt versus Sari. Yeah. Sari did eventually take out Jag, but... Right. Yeah, I mean, she realized, hey, Matt is protecting Jag and coming after me. That's not good. So, yeah, then it did eventually come down to Matt and Sari. Yeah. And, of course, Matt wins HOH. Oh, boy. Great. So, Jag is HOH. <laughs> so, Matt assures Sari that he will never, never... Put her up on the For block. Never. For never. <laughs> that is a uh, Sandlot. A Sandlot reference, by the way. For never. Yes. Um, no. We saw this very conversation at the end of the double eviction episode, mm-hmm. and he was telling Sari, "If I win HOH, I will never, ever, ever put you up." Guess what? He's HOH now. Let's see what he does. They're never, ever, ever getting back together. Yeah. I mean, she was in the bathroom with Matt and Jag at one point, and they're all talking about how Felicia needs to go. They're going to the final four with the three of them and Bowie. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Felicia wants Sari to talk to Matt to try and keep her off the block. She's uh- like, we need to get Jag and Bowie up on the block. Uh huh. Felicia. <laughs> Are you serious? Do we need to make a time machine too? Do you, yeah, do you really think that he's going to do that? Come on now. All right, so Felicia and Jag. You know she does not mince words. And she's not, she does not have a good feeling 
after that HOH competition, how everyone targeted her. She's so like, is Bowie Jane in the final four? And Jag's like, <laughs> no. Uh, yes, she is. But um, yeah, Jag is trying to play it off like, no, our four is good. Like you don't have to worry. Come on. Uh, so now this is the uh, moment where season 25 <laughs> loses its shit. Oh boy. <laughs> Matt's HOH room reveal. Okay. This is like the planets are converging and aligning and eclipsing and... <gasps> Matt walks in to his HOH room and is like, oh, wow, so really cool. Let's look at these cool. pictures. Like, what's going Wait, on here? Wait, who is this? Who's this in this picture with my mom? I've never seen this picture before. <gasps> is this Riley? Did you forget what she looked like? <laughs> I'm sorry, but like... This was a lot watching it on the live feeds, but then when they added in that corny ass music in the background too, like freaking Romeo and Juliet up in here, yeah, I can't. So, so yeah, uh, Riley met up with Matt's mom. He's super excited about that, and then it's time to read the letter. And the letter, the phone call is coming from inside the house. The letter is coming from inside the house. It's Riley. Oh boy. And Riley said, you know that Q-tip heart sculpture, whatever it was, that I left you with my dirty Q-tips? She said, ew, can you imagine if they were used Q-tips? <laughs> How else would you get them to stick together? Gross. But she was like, if that wasn't obvious enough, the feeling is mutual. Because I before... I have feelings for you. Before Riley was evicted, Matt was all like, I can't let you leave without letting you know I find you attractive. And I thought she was all like... She was like, oh, thanks. Like, I watched the clip again just the other day just yeah. to, you know, Refresh. see it again because I saw it pop up on, mm -hmm. on Twitter. And it was definitely, like, a friend zone moment. So, I don't know if maybe she's just, like, into him now because he's still in there or what. Because she's, know. like, watched him on the show. I and guess. Like, she's like, hey, wait, maybe... Yeah, I don't know what the deal is or how serious that is, whatever, but... Matt is freaking pumped up, as is Matt's Jag. Matt's all like, I'm going to have a girlfriend after this. <laughs> I'm going to have a real girlfriend. Yeah, and Jag is all like, my two best friends, yay! Everyone's freaking out. They're talking about Riley even more than they were before, which seemed impossible, I but can't here believe we are. how much they were talking about her I know. I know. I know. And not just Matt, like everybody. Everyone. What would Riley do? WWRD. <laughs> I don't see it. I think she seems like a lovely, wonderful person, but I do not get the obsession. Mm. Like, the obsession. <laughs> anyway. All right, so Sari and Matt are having a chat, and Sari says, uh... Do I even, even, even need to ask, like, who you're putting up? Because, I mean, he had just told her that he would never put her up on the do block. Do I need to set a place for you at Thanksgiving? Or can I just uh, Am I throwing your plate in the trash? Yeah. <laughs> Are you putting me up on the block? Are you going to tase me, bruh? So Matt was all like, well, you know, if I don't put you up... He's blah, putting blah, blah, you blah. up. <laughs> and Sri was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up a second. You told me that you would never put me up on the block. And Matt's all like, well, if I put you up, it might hide that we're working together... No. <laughs> then he pulls out, no matter who I put up, somebody's going to be upset with me. Yeah, that's what happens when you make alliances with everyone. Yeah. That's on you. Bro. <laughs> All right, so it's time for the noms. And as expected, it's Felicia mm -hmm. and Sare. Yeah, they're up on the block. And he was basically like, yeah, I'm not going to do this speech because I already told you individually why you're I'm up too there. tired to do this. <laughs> Okay. You know what? You know what you did. Uh, I think part of the reason why he did that is because he told them both different things. Mm -hmm. Like, this one's the target. This one's the target. Right. So, he doesn't want to show his hand here with a speech. I mean, he kind of did already. Mm. So, uh, Felicia's the target? 
Felicia is Matt's target. But right. as Jag stated in this episode, he would prefer to see Felicia go this week. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Sari go this week because he feels that Sari is the better gamer. Mm-hmm. She's going to be more likely to get jury votes in the end. And he feels like he has more control over Felicia. Right. So he's going to be pushing hard for that this week. Everybody else also would like to see... Well... I mean, obviously, Felicia would like to see Cerigo. Of course. Bowie would like to see Cerigo. So mm-hmm. Matt is the only one who is trying to get rid of Felicia this week. Yeah. And Ceri. But, yeah. you know. So Ceri in her diary room Goals. had Wonderful. unlimited birds for everyone. He has one for you, and he has one for you, and he has A one for A special double one for Bowie. Yeah. F and Bowie Jane. That's right. FBJ. <laughs> I can't wait to see that as a full-ass remix. I just showed that to my husband the other day, and he was cracking up about it. It's it's very the good. The and Bowie Who, Jane song. Whoever made that. <laughs> good work. Great work. <laughs> yes. Yes. The, so, the, high, the highlight of our season. It was a big highlight. Mm-hmm. So let us know in the comments what you thought about this episode and what you think about this week. Um, I feel like it's going to be a really long week. It's going to be a very long, boring week. It's tough when we get down to the like last two weeks or so in this game. Mr. B, send them a Scrabble game or something. They gave them cards be, today. That would be much more interesting than the gameplay that's going on right now. Please. Yeah. So Maybe some Rummy Cube. Or <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah. Othello, even. Hmm. Well... Thank you all so much for watching. We will be back tomorrow for a spoiler live stream. And then on Halloween, we're going to be doing our stream and the episode recap. In costume? Possibly you? If I can pull something together. Oh. Yes. I always look like I'm wearing a costume. No. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, thank you all so much. Oh, yes. He knows. And until next time. Say it. Yeah. Until next time. Much Much love. love.